that's dear williams your motivational god father i'm here because you know i love you and i believe in you there's greatness planted inside you we need a little bit of water to grow up beautifully and i'm here for sick tags because i believe in you um i believe in you there are seven people that you need to stay away from in 2020 <laughs> they've come back to it. <laughs> This world, my, we're moving forward. We're not going back. Forward ever, backwards never. As Kwame Nkrumah said, um, forward ever, backwards never. Hey, Enoch, what's up? Um, Azantawa. <laughs> Azantawa, how are you? All right, so one, the, the people who hate others, like, you know, we have haters. They, they don't want you to progress. They don't want you to move forward in life. Those people you need to stay away from because... They are diabolic. They are, they, they are toxic. Like, you know, they, they will get your mind running. <laughs> Two, emotional people. People who have emotion about everything. They think this world is crazy. They think people are wicked. They, 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 they have emotion about every little things. And life, it's not about emotion. It's about logic. That's why we left the horses to get a car. Because uh, car can take you faster than the horse. So horses are emotional animals, but we left them because we want logic things to fly. We want the plane to fly you all the way on instead of, you know. So you need to be around with people who are logic, not too much emotion. And these people, they get you crazy. Negative-minded people, like, you know, people who are too negative, they think this world is going to the dungeon, like you know, it's it's not it's not that this world is becoming beautiful. Even though as Christians we believe there's heaven, but it doesn't mean <laughs> if you wake up in the morning you just need to stay where you are. There's something inside you. There's greatness inside you. You need to bring it out there. You need to make sure that you know whatever is planted inside you is out there, and um. There's number four, time wasters. There's people who will call you on the phone. All what they will do is talk about something that you're not interested. Or they will invite you to some place that you, it, that's not what you want. It, it, they, they waste your time. They, they can tell you to binge watch, let's say, a Game of Thrones. Or something that you've seen already. They will ask you to watch it. And you have time because you want to look good. You want to make sure that you don't have issue with them no no these people they are time wasters don't have time with them because your dream is bigger if you you have a big dream you won't have time for those people if you have a big dream if you have positive mindset if you want to achieve greatness you won't have time for time wasters all right oh number five gossipers <laughs> there are people who gossip about everyone, like, you know, and as they are gossiping with someone or with you about somebody, it's the same thing they do around you. You get what I mean? All right. And people who think money is everything, like, you know, there are people who think money is everything. Number six, they, they depend on money. They think money is everything in the world. Money is good. I'm not saying money is not good. I, I'll be the last person to say money is not good. But you don't kill for money. You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't do things for money. Like, you know, people will rip you off because they want your money. Those kind of people, you don't stay around them. You need to bring value out of there. So people will appreciate your valueness and give you exchange with money but we as as uh, young people today we think becoming successful is like uber uh, like you know uber eat you just type the app on your phone and they bring you the food and you, because you paid on already no no that's not the case to become successful you need you need to bring out value like, you know, Fortify Your Youthful Mind and Grow Rich. This is one of the best books you need to get in your bookshelf, you know, because it tells you 
what you need to know, what how you can succeed, how you can think as a human being, you know, as a young person. All right, number seven, dream killers, people who just kill dreams. Oh, you know, I want to be the president of Ghana. Oh, it's not possible. You know, in, our, in your family, who has ever been a president before? Who has ever been a politician before? I want to be a pastor. Oh, it's not possible. You can't do it. Those dream killers, you need to stay away from them because they will always, always turn out to kill your dreams. It's a subconscious thing. So they will always make sure that whatever you come up with, they will, they will turn it down. Stay away from those people in 2020. Even if you are around with them now in 2019, look at how your life has ended up. We're almost 2020. Have you achieved your your list 2019? Like, you know, have you did you achieve your list 2019? Did you achieve all the list you wrote it down? Things I want to achieve in 2019. Have you achieved it? If you haven't, think about it. These are some of the people you need to stay away from if you want to achieve them. All right, the bonus is, is up to you. It's, it's, I'm giving it to you because I love you, I believe in you. One, you need to stay away from watching TV, too much TV. Like, you know, the dream is in the pipeline. Do, don't, know, don't just be a dreamer, be a doer. You, you get what I mean? Successful people dream and they work on it. You don't just dream and sit there and dream, dream, dream. A person who dreams like that doesn't go anywhere. And don't make people's opinion become your reality in 2020. All right, so guys, this is what I have for you today. I got a Zantua who was watching and um, Enoch, Enoch, my school son. How are you, son? It's been a long time. All right, um, thanks to everyone who have the time to be on this show. Thank you.